Mon County, the first ever Elmira Infinite Canvas Mural Festival took place earlier today. And WEY's Lindsay Madison went to the event to chat with some of the artists about why they chose to paint what they did. Lindsay? Alexandra, artists were able to paint on one of their biggest canvases yet, a big 17 feet by 37 feet long. One mural had the start of a mammoth on it, and another showcased how Elmira got its name. Deanna is doing that whole story about her and the baby Elmira, um, where Elmira gets its name, is being painted on this wall. Mural Fest is part of the Elmira Infinite Canvas Project, a community project that aims to uplift the community through public art. The festival was also a way for people to support local artists, whether they were vendors, muralists, or dancers. So really, we've just come together, we're kind of celebrating Elmira's history. Muralist Dion Brown painted Nathan Teal and his daughter Elmira. Brown said he thought the story of the Teals was interesting and used it as his inspiration. I did some research and I noticed that there weren't many pictures of Elmira or Nathan Teal, so um, this was my opportunity to kind of give them a face and give them some type of identity. Philomena Jack is another muralist who began painting today. She says she's painting a mammoth in a different style than the rest. I'm painting it in a mid-century modern style as though it was a lithograph. So instead of it looking like a painting, I want it to look like a lithograph where the register is a little bit off. Jeremy Leach, a.k.a. Kuba, is a local muralist who began painting what he calls Queen City's Black Radiance. He said all of the people he's grown up around and a journalist have inspired him to become an artist. Traveling um, journalist named William McLeod wrote uh, that Elmira was a queen city when the Erie uh, rail, rail line was being built. So that's part of the reason I also did it too. Now there's plenty of murals scattered around Elmira, but the ones from today's festival are located on the upper portion of Railroad Ave and East 2nd Street in Elmira.